The first number up to date is zero, as in the number assigned by public health officials to the first person to contract the disease. And now New York City has its first Ebola patient zero, Dr. Craig Spencer. And the details of Dr. Spencer's journey will have you do an emoticons. What? That's because you'll see that Dr. Spencer and Dr. Nancy Schneiderman of NBC News both have the same disease. No, not Ebola. It's called fooleitis. Now, back in September, Dr. Spencer bravely went to West Africa in order to treat people there suffering from the Ebola virus. And he did so under circumstances that few of us can fathom. But once he came back to the United States, all that training and all those smarts seemed to go right out the window. In fact, instead of self-isolating for the 21 days that one should after possible exposure to Ebola, the night before he ended up in the hospital, he ended up taking two subway lines to go bowling at a place called the gutter. Well, you could make this stuff up and nobody would believe you. Well, all of just goes to show, as I've said before, that all of our technology and all of our protective equipment and all of our stuff that we have that's supposed to keep us safe can't actually protect us from our own arrogance.